Uh, so okay, so sorry it's been a while and I haven't really done a DVD update too much or anything. I filmed some things but I never got around to putting them actually on my computer. So I'm just going to get right into it. This is the March Blu-ray and DVD update. There's also two films that I haven't, that I got this month which I haven't got to show because I lent them to my friend. And the first one is The Ghost which is like, um, like The Ghost Writer it's called. Or it says The Ghost but I think it's called The Ghost Writer. And it's where Ewan McGregor is Pierce Brosnan's, I can't say his name, um, ghost writer. He's the Prime Minister. Uh, I, I didn't really get it. I don't really into that kind of thing. I watched it and it was kind of interesting. But I lent it to my friend she really liked it and said it's really good. And it's based on like Tony Blair um, when the war in Iraq was going on. So yeah. And then the second one, which I had this month and lent away, was um, The Kids Are Alright. And I don't know, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was good as people make it out to be. So I was a bit like, hmm, it's okay. But if you want to actually see them, I'll post links down below because I have a video which has both of them in. The Ghost was in my last DVD update where I just showed you them. And so that's down below. And then The Kids Are Alright, I have a video of me going actually and buying it on the day it came out. I've only got one Blu-ray this month, so I'll show that first. Um, it's Camera Rock 2, The Final Jam. Extended edition. Um, yes, yeah, so this was only five pounds um, for the Blu-ray, so that was pretty cool. So I couldn't even find the DVD for that much. So, and it comes with the Blu-ray and the DVD. I haven't actually watched this yet, so I can't really give you my opinion on it. But yeah, this is the only Blu-ray I've got this month. So yeah, I have loads of DVDs to go through, and I actually, before like collecting the DVDs up for this video, I thought, oh, I actually haven't got much to show for this month. And when I collect them together, I realised actually I have pretty lot to show. So. I'm going to go through them quickly. We've got um, Stitch the movie. I love Lilo Stitch, it's one of my favourite films, like Disney films, Lilo Stitch. This wasn't as good, it was a bit like, I don't know, I didn't like this as much. I think it was more a spin off of the TV show, but I'm not sure, I haven't seen that. But it was okay, I got it pretty cheap, so that's good. Um, Spider Man 2, haven't watched this one yet. I haven't seen any of the Spider Man movies, so I kind of wanted to see Spider Man before this one. Like, if that makes sense. But this is the second one, so maybe I need to see the first one. I haven't got the first one, so I'll just wait for this one. Tarzan. I'd never ever seen Tarzan until I bought this. And I bought it, and I love Tarzan. It's really, really, really good. If you haven't seen Tarzan, you're a bit like, oh, I don't know. You don't mind. If you don't see it, definitely go and get it. And I got this for £5, and it's the double disc special edition. So that's pretty good for, like, a Disney movie. So yeah, Tarzan is really good. Anastasia. This one's still sealed at the moment. Um, and in my DVD update where I just showed them, I actually it was still sealed then, but yeah, I haven't gone around to watch it yet, but I have seen it once when I was little. I can't remember very much about it, that's why I got it, it was £5 I think. So, but now I think it's come out on Blu-ray, like in America I think it's out on Blu-ray now, so that's a bit of a shame that I've just got a DVD, but whatever. That's Anastasia. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, I love this film, it's so good, I watched it the other day even though it's not Christmas, but it is one of my favourite Christmas films. I don't know, I just love it, and I love um, Cindy Lou Who. It's just a really good film. Definitely watch this one if you haven't seen it. It's a really good Christmas film. I don't like Christmas films that much, but this one is really good. High School Musical 2 Extended Edition. This was the only High School Musical one that I didn't have. And I think it's my favourite one out of all of them. So it's a bit stupid that I didn't have this one. So I just picked this one up pretty cheap. So yeah, it's the Extended Edition. So yeah, High School Musical 2. I'm sure everybody knows what it is. You either like it or you really, really, really hate it. So I don't know. Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End. This was the only one of the Pirates of the Caribbean that I didn't have. I've only ever seen this one once and I didn't like it as much as the other two. But I don't actually know if I'd watch it again. I might watch it actually just before going to see the fourth one to give me like a recap of it. But I bought it because it was pretty cheap and I needed it for half of all of them. Does that make sense? That's a bit stupid, isn't it? But yeah. So Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Also, why is Kira Knightley not in the fourth one. Did she die in this one or something? I should really watch it to really watch it, re-watch it to find that out because I don't really remember what happens in this, so yeah. Matilda. I love Matilda. It is like one of the best childhood films ever. If you haven't seen Matilda, that's so weird. And it has a song in do 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 that one, yeah. When she's making the pancakes, the Ice Age song, some people call it, but it's definitely a Matilda song. Uh, but I love Matilda. Like, what else more can I say about Matilda? Matilda's amazing. You must have seen that. So, yeah. Ratatouille. Uh, I liked this. I've only seen it once. I haven't seen it since I bought it, actually. 
But I do really like this film. I thought it was a pretty good Pixar film. I don't know, I just remember really enjoying it when I saw it, so I thought I'd pick it up. It was £5 for the two disc dish the two disc edition with the slipcase. So I just thought I'd pick it up. So yeah, Rush to Oh, and the chipmunks, the first one. I had the second one on DVD, I didn't have the first one. I much prefer the first one to the second one. This, the first one's much better. I used to love watching Alvin and the Chipmunks, the TV show, when I was younger. If you were born in the 90s, then you will remember that TV show, I presume. And it was such a good TV show. This is quite a bit different to the TV show. But this, I think the first one was good, actually. I quite liked it. And it's all Christmassy on the outside, but then that's the normal case. So yeah, Alvin and the Chipmunks is the first one, which is better than the second one. Date Night, haven't seen this yet, it's still sealed. I know, I should really get around to watching this one because... It was still sealed last time I showed it before, so sorry. Day night. The Bounty Hunter. Uh, this film is kind of forgettable. I don't remember too much about it. I don't think I'd watch it again. Um, yeah, it was it was okay. I don't really have much opinion on it because I watched it and then kind of forgot about it. It was one of those kind of films. But maybe on a really good night in it, we might watch it again. I don't know. Hatchy, A Dog's Tale. This was such a cute film. It was about this um, dog who, well I won't tell you, you can, I can't really explain things very well but it was a really good film about this dog and the man who had this really good friendship but it was just so cute and the dog was super cute and it was really quite a sad story but it was a true story, well no it was a based on a true story in Japan I think or somewhere but yeah it was a really cute film so if you like, um, like kind of dog films I guess then definitely check this one out, it's really good. The Blind Side, I know I still haven't opened it and watched this, I really need to watch this because Sandra Bullock is one of my favourite actresses as well, so really need to see this. And I'm like annoyed at myself that I haven't watched it yet, but yeah, The Blind Side. I Am Legend, another one that I haven't watched yet. Um, I really quite like Will Smith to be honest, he's quite good. But yeah, I've not seen this or watched it or anything. But yeah, I Am Legend. I saw like everybody else in the world has seen this film except for me, everybody's like, oh yeah, I Am Legend and the dog. And I kind of no ish what happens in the film but yeah I am legend Camp Rock the first one this is only on DVD I got it um I like this one I do I don't um I don't know I've seen it quite a few times on the TV it's always on Disney Channel isn't it but I wanted to get it because I do really quite like this film it's a good film and um I got the second one so I thought oh I gotta get the first one now but yeah so that's why I got the first one Camp Rock Penelope um I went to see this in the cinemas and I really quite liked it actually, it was really good, it's about this girl who had like a pig nose and it is really good, like, I think it was like, not many people really talked about it, I didn't hear much about it but I really liked it, so I picked it up on DVD, it's been out for quite a while, when did it come out? It was like 2006 or something, so it has been out a while and it took me a long time to pick it up but it was really good, it's like kind of like a fairy tale-y, girly, kind of chip flicky film, it's good, I definitely would recommend this actually I really did enjoy it, even though last time I did see it I was only about 14, so yeah, but still no, I do think it's really good. Hero Series 2, the whole box set, I got this for £1. It was £1 in a double hate Smiths, and I couldn't pass it up, I've never ever watched Heroes before, I um, don't know too much about it, there's no point in me watching this until I've seen the first series, so it's just like, I've just got it, but it was a pound. You can't, like, not get a series for a pound. How good is that? Like, it was ridiculously um, cheaply priced, that's it. But yeah, really, really cheap Heroes Series 2. But Hannah Montana Season 2. Um, I have the first one, um, so I thought I'd get the second one because I kind of do want them all because I do like watching Hannah Montana, not as much as I used to. Like, I used to watch it, like, all the time when I was probably, like, 13, so I probably was still kind of too old to watch Hannah Montana, but I really liked it and it's just one of the things that I now always quite like because I like Miley Cyrus as well, so but yes, so Hannah Montana series 2 it was pretty cheap and it um, I don't know but yeah okay, now this is like one of my favourite childhood movies like, I loved this movie and I had it on video and I just got around to getting it on DVD, so I'm so happy I did that because I did love this film Rugrats in Paris the movie this film is so good, I used to love Rugrats, and I love this one, and Kimmy was so cute, like, she came into it here, and it was just one of the best. I still used to get Rugrats the movie, the first one, but I have Go Wild or whatever, but this one's really good, I used to love this movie. 